Eclipse glasses are selling out everywhere from grocery stores to the Adventure Science Center. As the eclipse approaches, the eyewear is certainly getting harder to find. As News Channel 5's Kyle Haran shows us, it's important to make sure your eyes are protected even if those glasses are not available. Kyle, I see you have yours. Yeah, I'm wearing them right now. Don't look at the sun. We've said it before, at least not without the proper protection. And let me tell you, these are the ones that we handed out, the eclipse glasses. And I feel like I'm wearing a blindfold right now. The only thing I can see is the sun, and it's, it's right over that way. Now, there was a huge line out the door here for people that were also getting ready for the eclipse. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have about the eclipse. Outside the Adventure Science Center, there's a line you could call astronomical. And inside... Yeah, we were just talking about, you know, how people are scared now to buy them online, which is a shame. But, you know. Hi, how are you? It's probably the last people to buy Eclipse glasses from here because... Thank you all. They're sold out. At 11 o'clock this morning, President and CEO Steve Hinckley held this sign outside the Science Center. We think we started the day with just a little bit over 10,000 pairs. We sold over 28,000 pairs yesterday and more than 10,000 pairs on Monday. Round that up, you've got about 50,000 glasses sold in three days. How about that? The line that I counted was 193 people long at one point, and I would say that it sustained that for a little over four to five hours. It was a very, very busy day. Two more. They even supplied 500 to the Metro Health Department after their glasses were recalled. But it's the people here who need them most. I'm getting solar eclipse glasses. I'm going to hand them out to um, some of the elderly in my neighborhood and some of the homeless. Look elsewhere and you're likely out of luck. Grocery stores did carry them, but we couldn't find them. The convention and visitor court is out of glasses. And we're out of them too. Now some good news here, the Adventure Science Center, they just told me about two hours ago that they're getting 10,000 more pairs of glasses. That will be here on Friday. Now if you don't get some, there's another way that you can check it out. They, they involve casting shadows basically. Take a look at the dots on here. This is a, a grill pan right here. You can use a colander or a piece of paper with a hole in it. You can see those little circles there. Those will show the eclipse when you're, uh, when, you're, when you hold it up against a white piece of paper or cement. Also, we've had some people call us asking if you can watch the eclipse on TV without glasses. And let me assure you, you can watch our coast to coast eclipse coverage on Monday, glasses free. Reporting live, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.